away from the start, I can feel it in my heart, like Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine, and today I've got a quick tutorial for y'all. This is by request, and it's on normalization. Get a lot of questions on the channel about normalization. What is normalization? When should you use it? Why should you use it? Should you use it at all? And uh, also just some misconceptions about normalization that I want to talk about so that you're able to use it to your advantage if you choose to and um, just understand exactly what it's processing. So let me go ahead and play back this session. This is Jonathan Long, and uh, be sure to check him out. Feels like World War Three, and this battle is on me. I made it out to make a couch and lay around and make a headrest and a bedspread. But I tell you one thing, man, I lay it down. It's a mouthpiece. Like I took a hit, so I spit and I give a push, pushing my limit. Handle fire like a gunsmith, pushing through lines. Who am I, Emmett? Don't need to point the dot. I let God end it. I'ma stay. All right, so let's have a look at our verse track here. Now, I did not do any normalization in this session. The reason why I have it open is I want to point out a misconception, a belief that uh, many of you may have about normalization. And that is, you know, this is a very dynamic verse. So you see he's getting louder, then he's getting quieter in these parts. And a lot of you might feel like normalization would bring this up and make everything even and equal. That's not what normalization does. Um, that's, uh, it's, it's very different than compression. That's something to point out. Normalization and compression do two very different things. Normalization is going to raise everything an absolute value. With uh, peak normalization, which is the kind of normalization we're looking at in the DAW today, it's going to say, okay, where is the loudest peak? in our audio file, so let's say it's this peak or this peak over here, it's going to apply gain to get it to the value that we specify. So let's say we say we want every or the peak to be at zero. So it would apply whatever amount of gain it takes to get this loudest part to zero, and it would apply that same amount of gain, that absolute amount of gain, to the rest of our audio channel. So it would not change the dynamics of the track. So that's just, again, I think some of you might believe that that's what it does and uh, can get you into trouble, especially if you're normalizing to zero, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But uh, again, very different than uh, compression, which is going to treat these peaks differently based on where they are on our threshold. So with Logic, uh, we normalize a track by just double clicking it and it'll open up this window here, audio editor, and we have a track and a file. Uh, tab here. We're going to click the file tab and uh, we have a function menu. So that's where normalize is located. But before we hit normalize, I want to go down to the function settings. And right here, this is normally going to come up at 100%. And I want to talk about uh, why it's really dangerous to normalize at 100 or 0. Um, by doing this, especially on a vocal track, or really anything for that matter in the DAW, you're pretty much immediately giving yourself no headroom to work with. And when you're running something that's at zero into your compressors or whatever else is on your, uh, your uh, effects channel, it's just a really dangerous place to be. So you want to give yourself some headroom. So if you do choose to normalize something, I would recommend you know going from 50 to 70%. So let's just do like 70. So that's going to put us at minus 3 dB. Give us a little bit more headroom. Uh, so I'll hit OK, and then I'm going to go to Function, and then I'm going to hit Normalize. And so our little beach ball will come up, and then boom. What it did was it said, I believe this peak right here, this is the loudest peak in the audio file. We're going to bring that to 70% or minus 3 dB, and then whatever it took us to get there, we're going to apply to the rest of the track. All right, so real quickly, just some things to be aware of if you're going to use normalization. Uh, one, normalization is a destructive process. So it's very different than just raising the gain or adjusting the, uh, the levels on your mixer because that's not actually affecting the audio file in the session. When you normalize it, it will actually uh, process the wave file or whatever format your audio track is in permanently. So I know Logic and some other DAWs have undo steps even after you've closed the session and reopened it. But just realize that the actual audio file is being affected when you normalize it. 
Um, so the other thing is when you normalize your uh, track, if you have any noise or you have a high noise floor, that is going to all be brought up as well. So it's very similar to compression. Compression is going to uh, bring up the noise too. So just similar uh, caution there. Otherwise, you know, if you have anything to add on the subject of normalization, feel free to leave a comment below. If you learn anything, please like and subscribe and we'll talk to you soon.